An estimated 300 to 400,000 children in Romania do not go to school. They come mainly from families living in poverty, with parents who themselves had little or no education, and the recent economic crisis is making this situation worse. I caught up with UNICEF Romania's Edmund McLochney to find out how the recession has affected children in Romania and what UNICEF is doing to help. The main issues uh, facing children currently in Romania are uh, the problems associated with uh, the recession, I would say, first uh, and foremost. Uh, it's led to an increase in poverty. Now you have about one out of every four children in Romania living in poverty. And out of these, uh, you have another three or 400,000 living in severe poverty. Things are worse than they have been because of the recession. And at the same time, uh, because of the government austerity program, they're cutting back on their services. And uh, so health, education and uh, child protection services are suffering. And this is all happening at a time because, you know, with, with the recession, tougher times, higher unemployment employment and so on. Families are suffering more, so the, there's a need for more services rather than less. There are something like three or 400,000 children out of primary school who should be in. There's a very high dropout rate. The dropout is occurring mainly among children from poor communities, I would say largely from uh, the Roma community. And uh, many Roma uh, communities are in very poor economic shape, finding it hard to make ends meet. You know, in, the, in these tough times, we found that uh, school dropout, which is already a problem, is, uh, is actually increasing. So uh, UNICEF has felt that uh, something has to be done about this because uh, children who are not going to school are not going to have uh, education without skills and have very little prospects in life, and they're going to continue probably in poverty themselves. Poverty tends to be transmitted through the generations. Uh, their own children would probably be poor. And so uh, to, to break this cycle and to really address the issues of poverty, uh, it's essential that uh, children go to school and get an education uh, and try to make something of themselves. So how can UNICEF get these children who are being left out into school? There, there are several issues there as well. Uh, one is the quality of education, in fact, is of some concern in Romania. The uh, OECD PISA test, these, the Programme for International Standards Assessment, which is done every few years, has found that the quality of education in Romania is, is going down. It's the lowest in the EU at the moment. Of course, it's worse in rural communities and poor communities because you find that quality of schooling in poor communities is not very good. And uh, some parents are saying, why should we send the children to school? because what are they going to learn there? We're working on, on, on three levels, really. One is trying to improve, make the school more welcoming for children, including Roma children, and improve the quality of education, make it more interactive and get children more involved, get teachers more, more concerned about the education outcomes uh, in their classrooms. So that's one level, trying to improve things at the, in the school. Then we're trying to mobilize the communities and get leaders in the communities involved and, again, concerned, get them to resolve that no child in their community should be out of school and that they're going to do something about it. Leaders would include uh, religious leaders, maybe the local priest, political leaders, uh, the mayor, county council members, and so on. And uh, if everyone can be uh, mobilized in the community around this issue of education. It can really provide a boost. And uh, the third level that we're working on is at the household level to actually knock on doors of uh, families, persuade them to send their children to school. This can have the biggest impact, really, uh, the face-to-face -face with the parents and to convince them that it's in uh, their interests as well as the child's interests and the family's interests that the child goes to school. Of course, this requires uh, a lot of feet on the ground and it requires people who know what they're talking about, how to convince the parents. So people you know, have to be selected and trained and to get started with the school attendance campaign. Along with the Ministry of Education, we've selected 38 communities where the dropout rate is highest in the country. So we started there the school year. It'll be expanded the next school year, and we hope to get a, a momentum going, a critical mass that will attract more interest, action, and funding for you know, all communities which are, have a dropout problem. Can you tell me about your own experience of seeing the project in action? 
I spend a lot of time going around to the 38 communities that we've uh, selected for this school year to start the um, school attendance campaign. I, I try to get around to as many as I can. And uh, you come across many cases which really touch you. Uh, there's one case uh, I remember in the county of Brasov, in a poor Roma community where we found a, a girl of nine who was essentially looking after her younger siblings taking care of them. She was just like a mother to them, cooking and preparing their food. And uh, the parents, the mother was ill and she was away uh, in hospital for a few months and the father was out uh, working and uh, she dropped out of school to take care of the siblings. So she was in uh, one of the communities that, that uh, we're assisting. You know, with the community mobilization work we've been doing, her case, the family case, uh, came to the attention of the community committee and uh, they arranged to have an older woman come and take care of the kids while this girl went back to school. How do you ensure that no children are being left behind in Romania and that you're reaching the most vulnerable? Children who are out of school are by definition the most excluded, socially excluded, and they're the ones uh, facing the biggest disparities, the biggest challenges, uh, and uh, if you can focus on them, uh, you're by default addressing the whole issue of equity. So uh, by addressing the school attendance issue and uh, putting a heavy concentration on that, that's probably the most uh, effective way uh, to address equity in, in, a, in Romania and to get the most uh, impact. To support UNICEF's work to protect the rights of all children, visit www.unicef.org.uk forward slash donate.